Hello everybody, and welcome to my first impressions video of Grim Dawn, where we're going to be playing the first few hours of the game, and I'm going to give you my pros and cons and overall impressions of the game. Now, the game just had a huge update, V1.2, and as the title of the video probably tells you, I've never played this game before, but I've played a lot of Diablo, so I'm probably going to be making a lot of comparisons between both games. I am playing without the DLCs right now. I'm just going to play the base game and see how it goes. So I guess I'll create a character. Male, female, veteran, hardcore. I'll go with female. I'm going to call her Xvelum for a change. So they have different difficulties, veteran and hardcore. I think I know what hardcore is. Uh, veteran seems like something that's not for me. Let's just try the base game. Oh, wow. Okay, no, <laughs> no creation whatsoever of the character or like definition of physical traits. Just here's your character. Why not? So there's different buttons here, single player, main campaign. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, so this is the setup and then you just start. Do we have a voice acted cinematic? It's one of my favorites. I'm surprised I didn't get to choose a class actually. We paid a heavy price. What's that about? But the trap worked. You seem surprised. It's been a while since we've had a win. How long will it hold? I've never entrapped a being like this. I know this game released quite a while ago, back when Diablo 3 was a thing. So I wonder if they've taken anything from Diablo 3 or have they done it a bit like Last Epoch where they focus a lot on Diablo 2 mechanics. Path of Exile also does that. I love the cinematic. Similarly to Last Epoch, it's kind of like a animated slideshow, but voice acted gets a plus from me. Ooh, the graphics are rough. Let's see if I can play around with the settings. Okay, I'm I'm able to push the graphics to the max. And yeah, it looks good, actually. It looks a lot smoother than what it looked like a second ago. The UI seems a bit small. Can I make it bigger? UI scale. There we go. Oh, and I can see it live. How big and ridiculous do I want to make it? There you go. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to need some tutorials here. You're one lucky bastard. I'll give you that. Voice Let's acted quest. Let's go. Burp. Okay, so left click to move. So far, so good. You're not looking too bad for someone just come back from the brink of death. You were taken, possessed by the same creatures. I was possessed. How about that? Okay, so very, very early start, but I am getting a very normal quest so far. But I didn't get to pick a class. What's that about? Enter the cave under Burial Hill. Oh, I love this kind of questing where you don't actually have any quest markers on your map. It's just like, hey, go northwest or northeast in this example. Make sure to go right at the crossing or whatever. Okay, so left click to attack. Same as move. Okay, when you level up, you gain skill and attribute points, which can be assigned with skill and character windows. You know, in the skill and character window. Okay, let's have a look for that. Oh, it's highlighted. Okay, let me kill the zombie. Oh, I do get to select the class. Soldier, demon, demon, demolish, uh, de dem demolitionist, occultist, nightblade, arcanist, shaman. So I've played Rogue recently in Diablo 4 for quite some time. And then in Path of Exile, I am playing an assassin. Should I continue with assassin? Because that kind of helps me compare. Okay, shall we try it? Let's go for nightblade. Oh, I've seen this before. This reminds me of Last Epoch. Points available, so I get cunning, spirit, energy. I can see my life and my energy directly influencing us here. So either I put my points to upgrade or I put my points in an actual thing. What am I going to go for? I think dual wielding melee weapon sounds like a good idea. Or, all right, here we go. We're going to go with a dual wielding build because I, I got to play like a bit of a an archer in Path of Exile. That's what I'm playing at the moment. I think this will be a good opportunity to try a melee assassin, a bit like what I'm playing in Diablo 4 at the moment. Oh, character window. Oh, hello. It was highlighted, but oh, okay. I get one attribute. I guess I'll put it in cunning. There's no items dropping. That's funny. Oh, oh, I say that. Uh, of course, I get a really rare one handed gun and a note. Oh, cool. Lore bonus. I like that. Okay, I'm going to continue going into the cave under Burial Hill. I need to find Burial Hill. Level three. I'll put my points in in a second once I find better weapons. You know what I miss? All these lore books on the ground remind me of when companies used to actually like commission novelists to write novels about their games to promote the game as they came out um, or maybe even in the future. I love reading novels that are tied into games. It's weird. My favorite of all time, a bit of a tangent here, is the Bioshock novelization. If you ever get a chance, make sure to read that. I think it's on Kindle and all those. So it's, it's a really fantastic novelization. Okay, here we go. Buried Hill. What's this? Oh, this is your crossing rift or like your... Yeah, okay. All right. I know what this is. I'm not done. I gotta go back. What's this? Plating from armor that's seen better days. Used... Oh, I can use it. Oh, cool. I've got plus 15 armor. Nice. 
there doesn't seem to be any potions. Oh, R. R is the potion. Tonic of Mending. There's also an Evade. Ooh, I didn't realize. Oh, and I have some unassigned skills. Hat attack, uh, weapon attack. What's going on over here? Just got some ether crystals, whatever that does. These games love to throw you in the deep end, don't they? Oh, there's a cave there. Maybe, maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Once these guys are dead, I'm going to put some points in my attacks. One, two, I'll always put two, two points available, and then I'll put the rest somewhere else. So let's get an ability. Veil of Shadow. A psionic veil clouds the minds of nearby enemies, slowing their movements and diminishing their effectiveness in combat. So a debuff. Or Master of Assassins Amarasta, legendary amongst the Night Blades for her alacrity. Alacri alacri Never heard of that word before. Developed a technique by which she would unleash a burst of death, deadly phantasmal blades. Okay. Is that cool? It seems like a bit of a ranged kind of attack. There's another one of those here. I think I might just put another point and then there you go, grab one of these. Oh, there's this cool thing here that allows me to sump the energy from my enemies and then use it. Elth regeneration, total speed, whatever. Hey man, I love speed. So, I mean, it's a weird thing to say. I love attack speed. It's better. Okay, I'll tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. I will do the pneumatic burst. Yes, please. Put it on my one. There you go. I'm getting this game. What is devotion? Confirm changes. Yes. No, this is Path of Exile over again. What is this? What is this? No, it's Paragon board, right? Oh my God. It's just a bit overwhelming right now. Let's just focus on the game for a second. I really need dual wielding weapons right now. Quite a lot of people here. I really want to replace my gun, but I have nothing else. Nothing as good anyway. Oh, and I get another gun. Ooh, does dual wielding work with the guns? Can I be a dual wielding ranger? Wait, I think I need to destroy these ether crystals to stop the spawning. There we go. Let's try and put that gun here. I cannot. Oh, I didn't realize the gun gives me an ability. Fireball. I don't see it. Okay, wait, let me kill this guy. Oh, fireball is on the gun. Launches a fireball and it's got a 50% chance to stun target, 8% chance on attack. That's so cool. Cave entrance, that's gotta be it. Cleansing shrines grants you, oh, okay. And I can restore a ruined shrine, but I need personal required materials and they will give me devotion points, which I can put in my devotion tree. That is interesting. The source of the dead is near. Kill Kizog the reanimator. Right, so this is why we've got undead in the village. Let's do something about it. Oh, Kizog is there. And, oh, is he like summoning people? Evade, it's kind of fun I have an evade. He's got a lot of life. It's okay, I'm just gonna focus him for a second because my life isn't going down, so I can probably, this is riveting. No, there's something, I'm, I'm missing something here, aren't I? Oh my God, done, that took forever. Okay, level five and grand spoils, yeah, what's that? All right, it's time to move things around. And I also got a headband, improves my cunning. All right, let's see. One-handed mace, and then I have a one-handed mace here. Look at me, dual wielding. Nice. I also got this skull, rare offhand, required 76 spirit. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to use that. Oh, I miss, I miss my gun already. Oh, what's this? That's the, the same fire blast. This grants fire blasts, which is not fireball, but it seems the same. Can I put it on the weapon? Oh, nice, now I have a skill on the weapon. All right, this, I'm about to do a lot of damage. Are you sure you wish to auto sort your items? Yes. Ah, Path of Exile, please. This is what I need. Oh yeah, this damage is real. Ruined Shrine. Offer the Ether Crystals. I've cleansed the shrine. I get a devotion point. All right, now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Okay, I need to go back to town. So how do I do that? They mentioned a rift. Ooh, nice. And I get to choose where I want to go. First quest done. Oh, he's giving me stuff for free. Oh, he's just asking me to kill some folk in town because they killed his wife. Man, this is a lot of stuff. Talk to everybody. I'm allowed in the town. Speak to everybody, take all the quests. Greetings, child. So speaking to people is giving me XP. I like that. Oh, hi. Oh, he can stash my stuff. Okay. I should probably like sell a bit of my stuff. Maybe I'll sell it to the guy downstairs. Here, you. Can I sell you this stuff? Yeah. I can. And what do I get for it? Bit, bit of money. So help Barnabas with the water pump and help cast power off with his research. I have no idea who those people are. Oh, so the map does tell you where to go a bit. Search the ruined houses. Oh, I need to collect some scrap. So I need to go back in the town, it seems. Welcome to my workshop, Riftgate. And he wants me to bring him some ether crystals. I already got four. Did you bring back the aether crystal fragments? I did. Excellent. 
Okay, getting quests done. Local map, there you go. Let me go back there. Oh, I, I just teleported. So to help with the water pump, that's the first thing. Let's just walk through the world and see if I can find anything to do. I don't know where to put my points. I'm just seeing that there's some skills later on that will change the skills I'm using now. So I just want to make sure I'm taking the right skills. Whirling death, shadow strike, ring of steel, blade trap, blade spirit. I don't know where we're going here. Maybe the blade burst was a good idea. Okay, I'll put one, two points here. Then one, two, three, four. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, five. Okay, let's continue. There's another cave. Should I go in? Oh my god, I'm, I'm, the damage is no joke. I'm ruining people right now. Already an absolutely OP build. I don't need abilities. The shrine has already been restored. Oh, it's just another way to get to where I was. God damn it. This is the same cave where I did the first quest. Okay, let's try this again. So to go north, I need to cross here and go northeast. Oh, what are these guys? They're like snake people. Naga. Naga from WoW. I think I've gone too far to do my quest. I think my quest were a bit sooner. I'm not sure. Oh, hi, guys. These guys don't want to come to Rift Gaze. That's a shame. <laughs> I love how when I kill them, they just explode. Leather boots, let's go. I already have leather boots. I have better leather boots now. Oh, wow. I just added a, an ability upgrade, a skill upgrade that gives me a skill that can pierce through armor now. Oh, maybe it's Fire Blast that I've been just decimating people with. Oh, no, Fire Blast is an actual ability that I've gained. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, wow, I can spam it. Okay, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. Well, not since I've done a lore video anyway. It's time to open the quests. Oh, loot filter. Nice. That's cool. Right now, the loot isn't that bad, but maybe later it will be. Okay, here's the quests. Help Barnabas with the water pump. Yes, and he needs scrap. Find scrap among the lower ruins of lower crossing. Okay, so I don't really have a choice. I need to go back to lower crossing. There you go. Good. I can get this rift. Oh, the rift gate needs purging. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Fire blast, anybody? Wow, I'm just annihilating them. Oh, there you go, level eight. And I've unlocked the rift gate. Okay, back to lower crossing. That's where I'm supposed to be for a bit. It's going to be a bit boring though, isn't it? What the hell is this? Detonation site. I thought it was a bug. I can clear this out with heavy explosive. I need two dynamite. Oh, I wonder if I can buy that at the store. Superior greatsword. Oh, I wish I could wear it, but it's uh, two-handed. Chunk pile. Oh, found some scrap. Only one more to go. <laughs> it's never not funny when the guys just fly off the screen. Oh, Barog the Bloody. That's one of the guys I'm supposed to kill. See how fast I killed him? <laughs> oh my god. Arm of blood. Tell me that's a one-handed weapon. Oh my god, it is. Okay. Let's go. I don't have fireball anymore though, but I do a bunch more damage and I can technically put the fireball on him and boom, I've got a fireball again. Don't know what I want a fireball, but okay. Look at that weapon. It looks cool too. I love gear that changes the way your character looks. Not like a lot of games don't do that anymore. I know it's weird, but like they have the same texture for a lot of weapons. You know what I mean? I mean, if they're the same weapon again, that's fine. But like if they got different names, different visuals in the UI, you would expect to see something bit different. Still missing that one piece of scrap. I'll get to it. I'll find it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just did the whole thing. Oh, I know where to go. Open a rift gate, go back to Devil's Crossing because it's closer to it. It was actually at the very entrance of Devil's Crossing. I just didn't realize. Oh my god, I just need one piece of scrap for God's sake. Am I just unlucky? Why can I not find this piece of scrap that I need to get? It's just one quest. Oh my god, I thought that was it. We're just not. This way? Maybe. Whoa! This guy just had a green axe on him. No scrap though. We'll take the axe. It's not as good as my hatchet, but it does give me ice spike. No, actually, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna keep the one I have now. It's really good. It's got better stats anyway. But I don't really care for that. I just want scrap. Okay, we're getting nowhere. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me read the quests again. Okay, I can also find scrap on the dumping grounds on the edge of White Mire. Let's go and check that out. Oh my god, scrap. Okay, there you go. Figured it out. I was just a silly goose who doesn't read quest logs. <clears throat> okay, let's go back and give that quest. I believe I'm supposed to give that back to Barnados. 
Barnadus? Barnab <laughs> Barnabas. I did get the scrap. Perfect. The water. Since I've cleared out it. Oh, the water is poisoned. I need to go check it out. How do I get there? Open the cellar in the slack in the shack behind me. Right, 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 right. This is a game that rewards patient people, and I respect that. This guy's level seven. I'm level eight. Oh, I've got six points. Okay, why do I even want to put points considering how OP I am? Here, just absolutely max out the shears. Nah, 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 nah. Um, should I? Should I not? Nah. Should I? Uh, no. Ooh, I could actually put a point in this. So this modifies Belgothian spears, arm Maurastas quick cut, and whirling death. So this will modify the one, uh, the skill I have 21% chance to be used when I'm using dual wielding. And what will it do? I think it adds poison damage. And I like poison damage, so let's try it out. Yeah, should be fine. So I need to go and clear this water pump. Classic quest, really. <laughs> Just complete explosion. Look how this guy... <laughs> <laughs> they get caught on the environment. It's hilarious to me because I'm a child. This game reminds me of more Diablo 2 than Diablo 3 for sure. Secret door. What's up? That's cool. I like that. Oh my god. What the hell? Green tunic, green shield. This gear is, this game is throwing gear at me. Oh, this requires a lot of spirit. Mm, maybe it's not for me. Oh, that's a shame. All right. It's funny. We went from a prison to... The Nagas again. I'm gonna call them Nagas, but call them whatever you want. Snake people, reptilians. Did I skip something? I think I totally skipped something without being careful. I need to go back to the water pump facilities, the prison dungeon. Oh, did I, did I not miss something? Wait a second. Maybe I was wrong. The quest tells me to go this way, so I guess I'll just continue on my way. I think there's an interesting conversation to have here around enemy density and level to design. You can see this level is vast, really big, and it doesn't have the enemy density of, let's say, Diablo, for example, because that's the only thing I can compare it to. That's not true. I've played a, quite a bit of Path of Exile, actually. Um, now, I am level nine, so let's chill out a bit in my comparisons. But yeah, like three enemies for this zone, I feel like we could have had a lot more. Okay, I got a quest marker on my map. That should be the pump, right? Weird place to put a pump, I have to say. Oh, boss. Okay, let's see how quick I can annihilate this boss. Not that quick. Okay, I thought I was going to destroy this boss, but I'm just missing all the time. Oh, that was easy. Got a mace. I got a blueprint. It'll be fun to check out the um, crafting in this. Oh, I like this. This is a set. Love sets. Epic chest armor. And I can build it with six scrap and one dense fur. One dense fur. Maybe I can find that somewhere. And a ring. Plus 2% of attack damage converted to health. Yes, please. All right. I'm not going to pick up the other ones. Oh, actually, these boots are coming with me because they have movement speed. One of my favorites. It's time to go home soon. Oh, is that what I think it is? It's a shrine. I should... There you go. I should um, clear it. Berserker cowl. Oh my god, I just got an item set. A set item, whatever. You don't need to carry it, just... Oh, I can't move the UI, that's annoying. Um, let's drop a few things. What is this? Oh, unfortunately, it needs to be level 14. It does give me, like, plus two to dual blades, though. Yeah, okay. I'm level nine. Oh, that's in a while. What's gonna happen until then? Is that a shoulder plate? Oh, yes, please. I should put some points in here anyway, just to round out my build. There you go. Shoulder plates are the coolest part of, of a piece of armor. Can't change my mind on that one. Okay, back to Devil's Crossing to tell him that I fixed his pump, I guess. But first, I need to sell some stuff. Oh, blueprint. Can I just click on it? And I learned it. Yes, blueprints require the services of a blacksmith. Okay, I need to find a blacksmith. Well done. Take care of it. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Now it's time to meet Bourbon. Captain Good, John Bourbon. Back. Perhaps the ethereal behind these attacks is there. We can't okay. know for sure without investigating deeper. Okay, I gotta get myself to Burwich Village. Follow the road north through Whitemire. Okay, well keep pressing north and you will eventually reach the outskirts of Burwich. North. All right, no problem. Count on me. Check my skills real quick. What? That wasn't here before. Oh, can I dual spec? Oh, it's kind of fun. Nightblade and something else. Okay, what do I want to do here? So I can just go like typical warrior or I could do something more fun. I can conjure stuff with the shaman occultist. Okay, I could potentially go for occultist potentially and get some like, get a pet, you know? Let me have a quick look at the demon, no, demon, no, demon, dem, demolition, dis, demolition prefer, person. Um, So I can potentially spec myself in traps and bombs. It could be fun. Okay, what do I want to do? Do I want a pet or do I want a occultist? The occultist would allow me to summon spirits and dogs. 
Ooh, or I could just become like a chaos, like a dark, dark assassin and imbue my weapons with chaos and stuff. I think I'm gonna go for that. Okay, I've done it. No backsies. Okay, I'm gonna get myself a familiar first and we'll, we'll put some points in this. Or maybe I could just do this. Okay, I've got an ability. I hope that was worth it. Oh, it's it's just on. Look at look at that. Look how cool the effect looks. Awesome. Okay, let's move on. I'm supposed to get to Burwich Village, which is going to take a while. Okay, I'm taking some some damage now. It's getting a bit tighter. Not too bad. Nothing I can't deal with though at this point in time. Oh, I just got a green item. Continuing it on from the foggy bank. These guys have a buff. Rift spawn. Hey, the game is picking up. This bridge once connected to White Mire. Oh, I need three scrap and five iron bits to continue this. It seems though that there's a cave here and I'm gonna guess that I can skip the, um, the bridge if I just go through here. Okay, I'm in the flooded passage. I wanna show you an example, like a live example of loot. So it might backfire on me, but this is, oh, it, it's backfired. I can't loot this. Okay, I'll I'll come back to that. Maybe here, that's just gonna give me some rations. Yeah, that's that's still like normal, but you'll see that tree trunk. Yeah, <laughs> here's some boots in the tree trunk. I don't mind. Yeah, level 11, cool. Ooh, boss. I have to say, so far the boss have been a bit disappointing in terms of their mechanics. They're not crazy. I guess the one that was summoning zombies was quite fun, but one other one, and this one is just like standing, hitting me. AOE attack, okay. There you go. A bunch of stuff and a recipe for some royal jelly, my favorite. So where am I on the map now? Oh, it seems like I've bypassed the bridge. Nice one. Oh, hello, traveler. Hiya. You find yourself going about these parts. If you, Can you help us locate someone? Yeah, sure. If I meet him. Oh, it's a blacksmith. I need a blacksmith. Okay, the mob density is getting a bit bigger. Wait, someone's rezzing them. Who's rezzing them? The witch doctors, probably. There we go, much easier. Get out of here. Nice. Any items I'd like to keep? Rare pants, I'll take it. Rare gloves, I'll take it. Rare amulet, yes please. Yeah, it's all pretty sick. Keep going. Moldering fields, is that in the right direction? I think so. Oh, there you go, goblin attack. Get some XP while I'm here. The enemy diversity has already been quite impressive. I've fought quite a lot of different, a wide variety of enemies so far. The goblins, serpents, snake people. Man, these guys are a bit more powerful. I gotta kill the witch doctor because they keep bringing the others back. Oh shit, nearly tight. It's kind of crazy. Woof, that was a lot. Level up, level 12. Nice. I think it's time to have a look at my abilities soon. Putting some more points in. So I'll put another point in here, a couple points in here, because it's like a buff that keeps happening. So I might as well. I'll go back to my Nightblade build though, and potentially you put two more points in dual blades. Do I want to do that? Not sure. Oh, what about this? This is a dual blade technique. Breath of Belgothian. Oh, it's a skill recharge thing. Minus three seconds skill recharge. Is it a skill that I'm going to actually get or Ooh, increases health generation by 50%? I'll take that. Why not? There you go. Just kind of put my points a bit everywhere. See how that feels. Quest. Oh, I like that I can find people in the wild and then I can bring him back to my camp. I wonder if that's going to be helpful later on. He's a cook, so maybe he there's some recipes around cooking. I keep having this feeling that this game is very deep, but kind of takes its time showing you stuff. Like Path of Exile does kind of throw a lot of features at you really quick. Mechanics. I feel like this one is just kind of slowly teasing, crafting, cooking, that kind of stuff. While at the same time showing you quite a bit in terms of abilities, skills, and the level is quite fast. Oh, made it into the village. Okay, I got to secure this portal. Should I do that now? Yeah, let's do it. I'm doing a lot of crits. Oh, there's a boss. Let's see how quickly we can get him down. Yeah, that's pretty good. Really good DPS. Dunzos. Report back to John Bourbon. All right, let's talk to Sir Bourbon. Oh, before I do that, should I have a quick look at the devotions? Crossroads? Oh, no, Crossroads is just the name of something. So it's just the beginning of where I'm going to go after this. Okay. Green means agility, right? Maybe I'll just go the way of the agility. Acid damage, poison damage. Cunning, spirit, vitality, bleeding. Bleeding may be a good idea. Bonus to pets, cunning, spirit. Hmm, what else you got? Wait, I'm not putting freaking points down, am I? Oh my God, I am. Undo points, undo points. Jesus Christ. Okay, this one is like, what? Physical damage, health. 
I might need health. This one's magic. And this one's red. Red for chance to pass through enemies. That's weird. So there is abilities also in here. Oh, th those are abilities. Oh, and they happen as a chance of attack kind of thing. Ooh, okay, no. Yeah, taking it back. I am loving vampires. I love all that stuff. So I'm going to put my points in here and... 20% chance on attack to unleash vampiric fa fangs and I assault your foes and sap them of vitality. This place. What? What's going on? I just clicked on it. Why are you doing this to me? What is it? What? What is going on? Oh, it's locked. Requires all the stars before we get there. Okay, let's go back to this. Vitality damage, bleeding damage. So I'll try to put put some point into vitality and I get some stuff. So a lot, a lot to think about in these mechanics. Okay, time to go kill a guy called the Warden. And the Warden's cellar is in the village. I think. Let's double check that. The laboratory could be ac accessed via the warden's cellar underneath his estate in Burwich. Okay. Sounds good. So now we're in a village, so it's changed a tiny bit in terms of the level design. It's a bit more villagey, a bit more towny, I'd say even. Okay, the enemies are starting to hurt a bit more. The dark cellar. I think this is it. Someone has been here recently. Ooh. The plot thickens. This isn't the warden's cellar. This is just a cellar. I'm gonna be applying a, um, a filter, a loot filter soon. More games should have loot filters that you don't need third-party websites to unlock or to use. Level 13. Oh, I see a lot of elite mobs and stuff. Cool. It's starting to really, really go somewhere. As you can tell by my life, just yo-yoing a bit more than usual. Nothing I can't handle. I should use my fireballs more often. They're quite good. Oh, am I supposed to go into the cellar too? wooden door under this big building. Let's try it out. This must be the warden's cellar. Wow, okay. Let's put some points where I need to be. Oh, yeah, circle of slaughter. Okay, I gotta put a few more points in here. There you go. What the heck? That's cool. That's cool, a room. Anything in here to do, or is it? Oh, oh, oh I'm taking poison damage. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Okay, I've made it to the underground transit system, which is all part of me finding the warden's laboratory, I'm guessing. I really need to invest in some life points somehow. I don't know what that looks like right now. Maybe some points in physique. And cunning, yeah. Maybe some defensive attributes, but uh, or defensive abilities, but I've already got a defensive ability. Ooh, I get a new coat. Yes, does it change much? Not really. See, like the coat is a bit like, that coat could be in Fallout, Fallout 3. Maybe that's why I keep thinking about Fallout. Oh, level 14, I can put my cowl on. Epic helm, plus two to dual blades. And it grants me a skill, I like that. Enter a berserker state of mind, lashing out with increased ferocity. So more damage, but also more damage taken by myself. Berserker, let's try it out. Okay. It's a, it's a bit deflating, isn't it? When you activate a spell and it's like, it doesn't do much. It's not even a sound, it's just like, hey, there you go. Oh, I got some green shoulders, nice. All right, check that out. Oh, nice. Wow, there's a lot of opportunities to farm some ether here. <laughs> and I've unlocked something. A laboratory, the warden must be nearby. Yes. These assets are quite fun. I wonder what engine this game was made in. Considering the game is not brand new, it's quite old actually. I'd be really curious to know how they made this game. Most games these days are made in Unreal or Unity. This is not Unreal, not Unity. I wonder. Oh, boss, let's go. Oh my God, I nearly died, I'm gonna die. Ooh, that was the first time that I really got scared there for a second. He's level 18, I'm level 14. Let me just clear all the other mobs first and then I can probably take him one-on-one. -on -one. There we go. There we go. We're getting the damage in. Nice. Vampiric iron broadsword are you kidding that is perfect yeah it's pretty good i'm gonna oh i can also put this in a ring so sorry i'm just realizing there's a lot that i can put into my weapons here granted skill lightning nova is there something oh, okay so you can get a lot of skills by putting these into your armors okay i'll tell you what i'll put this in lightning nova lightning nova Let's see the damage of this Ice Nova. No, sorry, Electric Nova. It's pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed. Like, it's a bit too good, don't you think? Oh my god, look at this guy. Zabrond the Ascended. Am I gonna die here? No, I'm not gonna die here. Live forever. First of all, I need to destroy these Ether Crystals because they keep rezzing mobs. Destroy them. Done. Then you can get to the boss. That's how you do it, baby. 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's not even the Warden Krieg. That's crazy. Warden Krieg's gonna be super OP. Nice. Falcon's Claw. Epic two-handed axe. Oh, shame. Through some doors. Let's have a look at the abilities real quick. There you go. So now I have Amarastas Quick Cut is something I can add. And that should add to my Belgothian Shears, which is the other ability. And so I should be able to do like a bunch of stuff, meaning that I don't even have to think about it, which I really like that. It just kind of activates by itself. And this one is just good, I think. Ooh. See, you could you, you saw it for a second there. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Ooh, the music just changed. Your friend was a bit tougher, dude. Look at that. Attack speed. Just peak assassin, in a way. <laughs> Let's have a look at this guy. Well, he looks pretty good. I like his um, model, his 3D model. It looks good. And you're dead. Is there a phase two? <gasps> There's a phase two. Oh, yeah, and it's set to go. I love that there's a phase two. You've been dabbling in things you shouldn't be dabbling in. Making sure I'm not dying and he's dead. Yes. Yes. Nice. Oh, I like blue items, green items, all the items. This is so cool. Why am I so hyped about this game? I don't know. I'm having a great time though. I think it's because it's challenging, but it's not super challenging. So I feel like I can just chill out and just like enjoy myself. One handed mace that does a lot more damage than what I have right now. So I think because of that, I'm going to, but I need to be level 16 anyway. Why are you giving me stuff that's like for level 16 is ridiculous. Okay, cool. Report back to Captain John Bourbon. Just checking in real quick over here and I can see that there's some people to talk to. Oh, is that it? That's his assistant. I found this guy's assistant. Hello. Oh, he can salvage my stuff. That's great. What happens if I don't do the quests though? There's a few quests which I haven't done. So what's this? Place an item with an attached component or augment in the chamber. Like, what, like, um, I could put one in. Um, oh, that's cool. Like this, salvage. Keep item and it'll just choosing to salvage the item will destroy the attached component and remove any augments. Yeah, okay, great. Not very useful, but yeah, cool. I'll take it. Is it finished? Is the warden dead? I have the killed him. Is a great victory for us, nay, for all of humankind. But there's a lot of lore, which I love. I love the fact that there's stuff to sink your teeth in. That's amazing. Repair the bridge northwest leading out of Devil's Crossing. I've seen that bridge with my own eyes. I think it's, but I need scrap to do that. How do I get scrap? I need to dismantle maybe? Can I do that with this guy? Yeah, I do. Can you dismantle this for me? No, doesn't seem like it. Oh, I'm level 16, I'm level 16. Nice. I mean, I kind of want to just like change my broadsword at the same time, but it doesn't seem to be. Yeah, it seems to be not, not as good. Oh, the helmet. Do I want to change the helmet? This gives me berserk to be fair. Oh, I prefer the other helmet. Oh, I do have six scrap. I shouldn't worry. I can repair the bridge. All right, let's go fix the bridge. Where is the bridge? Out of Devil's Crossing. Repair the bridge leading northwest out of Devil's Crossing. Leading northwest? That's not the direction I thought at all. I have to say, I haven't seen any daggers yet. Six scraps and three iron bits. No problem. The bridge is now repa repaired. And I gotta go kill Edmund and Shanks Doyle. Is this act two? Might be. Tell you what, it's been a few hours. I'll kill this last guy and then I'll give my pros and cons and my first impressions of the game. Oh, I killed him, but I get to talk to him. I defeated him more like, let me kill his friends first. It makes me laugh out loud at how powerful this sorcery is. All right, hello. Rest in peace, scum. Right now, I'm done. Get out of here. Back to Devil's Crossing. I trust that you were handling everything all right. Well, uh -huh. do they like our- You work fast. This guy is kind of sending me on a killing spree. All right, this is a perfect moment. You just put some points in though first. I love these at the top here. I just absolutely love these. I, I didn't even put any points in occultist after that because I was like, oh, these are the best things ever. So I will put three points in here so I can get the next one. Whirling death. Looks fun. All right, time to do my pros and cons. Let's do pros first. So I've been playing this game for a few hours now and there's a lot to love and there's some stuff that kind of irked me. So let's talk about the things I really liked. The first thing is it's an offline game. I think that's a really big pro for myself but also a lot of other people who um, just want a self-contained piece of game sometimes that they don't have to be always online for. Another pro, uh, no microtransaction. That's actually quite a big deal these days. Um, I know the game came out ages ago but Path of Exile came out ages ago. Although I feel like they're kind of completely different games. 
things. Another pro for me is the narrative-led campaign. What do I mean by that? I mean that the campaign, the missions, there's just so much to sink your teeth in, in terms of the lore. The devs and the team behind this game obviously love the storytelling aspect of video games, and it really shows. Each character has a bit of a personality, each character has a story, and each quest also has quite a bit to dig into. I really like that. Another pro for this game is it's really chill. I know it sounds like a bit strange, but I feel like completely in a flow mode when I'm playing this game. I'm just kind of relaxing, playing the game, going through the quests, taking my time. So yeah, if you're looking for a chill game for a Sunday afternoon just to relax, I feel like this is a really good contender. Another pro for me is the diversity that you can do in your build. The fact that you can dual class, which is really fun, um, is fantastic. I really want to play this game more so that I can discover what crazy builds I could create. That's super fun. So let's talk about the cons real quick. Well, it's inevitable, but this is an old game and it's got some old ideas in terms of uh, game design. I'll put this in the cons, but it might be a pro for you. This is a game that rewards patience. Read the quest logs, take your time with the quests, do the side quests, and you'll be absolutely rewarded for it. But if you're looking for something that doesn't require that much of your attention, then I would say this might not be the game for you. Another con, this is also a con that cannot be escaped because of the age of this game. The graphics are a bit old. You can push this game to the max as I've done and it looks okay, but you do sense that the game has aged a bit in that department. And I don't think I have any other cons. So overall, I think Grim Dawn is actually a really unique and fun ARPG. I love the narrative aspect of it. I love the fact that it's also quite cheap. You can buy this game for a really good price at the moment and it's also got some DLCs to sink your teeth in. From what I've read, the reviews for those DLCs were pretty good too. I love the fact that it's voice acted, that the quests are fun, that there's a bunch of secondary quests and optional quests to play around with. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. And I think I'll be continuing to play this game, actually, just to see what the end game is like, I wonder. Does it fall apart after 10, 20 hours? I wonder. In the meantime, if you want a chill experience with some unique mechanics and you want to try something new, I would say go for it. Grim Dawn is definitely validated by myself. Again, thank you so much for hanging out in this video. Thank you so much for watching me play my another first impressions video. Please leave me a comment and like and subscribe for the algorithm gods. And thank you so much again for hanging out with me today.